use all the time. And I, for some of you guys were at pause on air at the conference up in, in Portland when I said this is too, is <clears throat> what is your vision? Sit down with the boss of the business, ask them what his vision is for the business. What are you trying to do? We're trying to sell as many of these fleece jackets as we possibly can. Uh, we want to be the best people in terms of fleece products all over the United States. Great. Now I know what you're trying to do. Now I can sit there and look at what types of tools you're using, how effective they are, whether they're serving you right, what are the things that you struggle with, and all of those types of things. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Any questions? Okay. So, what are some good ways to get started? Anyone? John, you've got ideas. How do you get started? You're, you're walking in. You're, you're, a, you're a seasoned developer. You're sitting down with a brand new customer. How do you get started? I said, let's go to lunch and tell me about your business. Tell me what's, what you're going. Tell me what your pain points are. Yep. What your vision is for the future. On a high level. Yep. High level. Why? Because if they get down into the details, you never get to the information you really want. Kind of. What happens when you start asking people about what they're, if you start asking them too much about what their problem is, what do most customers tend to do? Tell you the solution. Tell you the solution. That's right. That is exactly Which right. Which is the wrong solution. They tell you the solution. They what they what they do is they self-diagnose. Instead of going, oh, my knee hurts. I go into the doctor, say my knee hurts. I need surgery. No, no, no. Your knee hurts. Let's take a, let's maybe you need stretching. Maybe you need some some anti-inflammatories. Maybe you need surgery. But let's take a look at the options and evaluate those with a clear set of eyes. And and the customer tends to go. I need this button on this screen right here that when I push it, this happens. <laughs> Sometimes that's not the case. So you want to sit there and do what John said. High level, where are you at with your business? What are you struggling with? One of the other things I always like to make a point out of also is, what are you guys doing that you like? Because it's very easy to sit there and go, I've got this solution over here that I've built for other customers, and I'm going to cookie cutter you and push it into there. That's not going to be successful if they have a particular uh, philosophy about how they work or a particular workflow that's very indigenous to them that makes them successful. You have to as a custom software developer. And guess what? The reason why we're all here is because people can't find software that does what they want. That inherently means you've got a problem person out there. The person that's coming to you has something that's a little bit screwed up in how they work that doesn't make them fit into QuickBooks or does not make them fit into ACT or something of that nature. Because the very first thing I do with a customer is they come to me and they say, we need a contact management system. I say, have you looked at ACT? Because it's 300 bucks and it's cheaper and it's faster and you've got no business. i got no business selling you some big giant, you know, eight-legged monster that's custom built in FileMaker if there's a better tool that's already working, that's tested and works in your platform. I'm not going to try to sweep you into my world unless it's going to be a good fit. But I have to assume that if you've done your homework, you already know that there's not a good fit. You have a problem that doesn't have a nice workflow to it, and we can we can probably get you there. So, what is your vision? How are we going to get you there? What are you doing right? What are you doing wrong? What do you as the boss feel your company is doing right, and what are you doing wrong? Listen very carefully to that. Okay? I'm almost wondering, so what do you do next? Michael, you sat down with the customer kind of get the gist of what you guys are trying to do. What do you do next in your in your collection? How do you start? Um, I was thinking these, for me it's been different with every customer. Mm -hmm. um, once they tell me where they want to go, um, I find out about... Um, well, if this is, if this is your vision, this is where you want to be, the finish line, right? Mm -hmm. What's a good place to ask? Where are you now? Maybe, huh? yeah. Where are you starting from? What are you guys doing currently? Right? <coughs> what are you doing currently? What do you like about it? What do you not like about it? Um, I also tend to ask them about um, the hardware and software that they're currently using. Mm -hmm. Because in some cases, um, there are, there are limitations that are imposed by what are both of those things. That's right. Alan? I focus on benefits. Having them the value. tell me what it is that they think they want the system to be able to do. Right. And that, that filters into this. 
what are the, the benefits or the value? And then from the benefits come the needs. Right. Mm -hmm. I want our company to be 40% more paperless. I want our company to be able to process more orders with less, without having to hire additional bodies. I want our systems to talk to each other. We have all these different systems that don't talk to each other, and there's some roadblocks there, and there's a lot of redundant data entry along with error. Any of this stuff ringing true with any of you guys, right? Yeah. I want to be able to type a name into the system once and never have to type it again, <laughs> right? I want to be able to uh, automatically see where we're at at a glance without having to wait four days for my assistant to manually assemble this report that I need to look at to help me steer my business, right? These are business decisions. Everything that Alan just talked about is a business decision. It is not a database decision at all. It is a business decision. It is very easy in our world of geekdom to sit there and try to distill everything down to scripts and layouts and buttons. It's not. It is about the business, guys. It's about sitting down, figuring out what, what John said, sitting down with your customers, figure out what's important to them, finding out where they're starting from, what are the benefits they hope to achieve, and then the road to travel to get them there. It's as simple as that. It's not that difficult. So now, where are you starting from? One of the things that's the silliest, and yet it's relatively easy to do, is I literally sit there and say, how does it start? Well, we sell these fleece jackets. Great. Tell me how the first thing happens. The phone rings, and I always tell them, I always start the customer, they're a sales-based organization or something like that. I don't care if they're a college campus and they want a recruiting system, or if they're a television studio and they're, they want a post-production tracking system or anything like that. I always start with, the phone rings, right? Because nobody's in business unless the phone rings. So the phone rings. What happens? Well, we get somebody on the phone. Who is it? Well, it's maybe a potential customer, okay? So we're keeping track of customers then, right? Yes. What are you, what are you keeping? Do you get their name and phone number and address? Yes. Do they have multiple phone numbers? Yes. Maybe I'll have a table of phones. Um, maybe everybody's done this type of thing before, right? ERDs. Maybe they'll have multiple addresses. I can sit there and do a number of different modeling techniques, which John and other people are going to get into later. I can either build an ERD. I can do something different. I can say, one, you know, customer call. I can do a workflow if I want to. I can say, hey, customer call. Second, um, it's either an order or it's... Not an order, no order. And then I can branch from there. And if it's an order, we're going to maybe add products. And if it's not an order, maybe it's a request for a quote or whatever. So I can sit there and build these linear little processes out. Very cool to be able to do this in a graphical fashion, both with your customer and for your own self. Sit down with yourself later and go, well, that's right. Got an order, these products. Very easy to go, what do we need to do for each of these stages along the way? So for me to walk through with a customer, let's just say, by the way, I'm going to erase all this stuff in just a second. Everybody okay with that? Nothing crazy here, right? Don't lose that. So one of the things that I like to do, and we've got about 10 more minutes to do this, Olympics are going on right now, and I want to do this as an exercise because I want you guys to help me. Let's pretend the U.S. Olympic ski team is coming to me and saying we need a database. Who's going to, Laramie, you're going to be the boss. Go. Uh, what do you need? What do you guys do? Well, we, we manage a, a very large event that has a, has a lot of different sports events. We bring no, you're just a ski team. Oh, you just ahead of the ski team, yeah. You're just ahead of the ski team. No, no, no. All right, so uh, where, am I the U.S. Ski team? You're the U.S. ski team. You're the director of the U.S. ski team. Okay. All right. We have, uh, we have a team of skiers. We have um, a set number of skiers. I think we've got 22 or something. Yeah, you got some skiers? Okay. And, uh, and we have a, a number of different events that we participate in. You're talking like a database developer. Oh, okay. You're taking tables already. Right? So you're, you're a ski team. How many people on the ski team? 22 people on the ski team. Wow, great. What's, what are the age ranges of them? 
Uh, they go from 16 to 25. Yeah. Do you have Do you have other team members? Do you have other like administrative staff? Oh and yeah, we have we have coaches and we have uh, the people who sharpen the skis. And so you have some techs as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, do you need to keep track of anything about what, 